everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome to Apollo 11 HD VR or VR HD. We played this maybe a couple years ago now and we had an amazing time. So what are we doing back? Well, they remade the entire thing in HD. This is made by the same people that made Titanic VR, immersive VR education, amazing people. Since making this and then making Titanic, they've learned a lot more about making VR games and they've gone back and they spruced this up. So we're here to check out how it looks today. And so without any more stalling, let's begin. In 1957, Soviet Russia launches Sputnik 1, the first man-made object in space. In 1961, Russian Yuri Geller becomes the first man in space. For those five years, America was one step behind in the space race. In 1962, American President John F. Kennedy raises the stakes by announcing the Americans' intentions to put a man on the moon. The following speech was delivered to the American people to support this endeavor. No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. But condense, if you will, the 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of about a half a century. Stated in these terms, we know very little about the first 40 years, except at the end of them, advanced man had learned to use the skins of animals to cover them. Then about 10 years ago, under this standard, man emerged from his caves to construct other kinds of shelter. Only five years ago, man learned to write and use a cart with wheels. Christianity began less than two years ago. The printing press came this year. And then less than two months ago, during this whole 50 year span of human history, the steam engine provided a new source of power. Newton explored the meaning of gravity. Last month, electric lights and telephones and automobiles and airplanes became available. Only last week did we develop penicillin and television and nuclear power. And now if America's new spacecraft succeeds in reaching Venus, we will have literally reached the stars before midnight tonight. This is a breathtaking pace, and such a pace cannot help but create new ills as it dispels old. New ignorance, new problems, new dangers. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships, as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer, to rest, to wait. But this city of Houston, this state of Texas, this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them. Yeah! <laughs> For the eyes of the world, now look into space, to the moon, and to the planets beyond. And we have vowed that we shall not see it governed by a hostile flag of conquest, but by a banner of freedom and peace. The exploration of space will go ahead, whether we join in it or not. And it is one of the great adventures of all time. Those who came before us made certain that this country rode the first waves of the Industrial Revolution, the first waves of modern invention, and the first wave of nuclear power. And this generation does not intend to founder in the backwash of the coming age of space. We mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. Its hazards are hostile to us all. Its conquest deserves the best of all mankind, and its opportunity for peaceful cooperation may never come again. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. 
Look, everybody. <laughs> we the choose moon. to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. How about that, everybody? Welcome to the game. And look at Earth peeking over the moon. Listen, uh, Vanguardy Base here. The Eagle has landed. Yeah. Roger, twang, tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. I bloody love history. It's so freaking cool. And this is looking amazing. This is looking absolutely gorgeous so far. July 16th, 1969 at the Kennedy Space Center. I think the momentous, uh, most memorable thing that I can recall about that particular day was the opportunity while my, uh, my two friends here were being put into the spacecraft to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching, but, but nothing specific and just so quiet and to realize that indeed uh, such a contrast was going to take place, all the frantic activity preparing the rocket, but it was so quiet up there for me personally and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar and off for a momentous uh, event. Well, that's pretty big, isn't it? Right, am I in control? I, oh, here we go. <laughs> so completely redone with entirely new textures. I even saw people walking around. I don't think they were there back in the day. These guys might have been. I can't remember them. Oh, hi, Japs. I thought uh, we had a 90% chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 chance of making a successful landing on the first, first attempt. There's so many unknowns in that descending from lunar orbit down to the surface that had not been demonstrated yet by testing. It's a risk-reward uh, equation, and uh, you're able to accept a level of risk so long as it's commensurate with the reward that you will get by achieving the goal that you're after. I don't remember being so quiet in a Let's Play before. I'm just enjoying the ride at the moment. Our boys, we're inside. Three minutes, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are at goal. One minute. This is looking time. glorious. Everything is looking so much more crisp in detail. Sophisticated. It's more immersive than ever before. That's what I'll say about this right now. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8. Gonna be cool! Second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 60. What's cool is, is I look down, I can actually see my spacesuit, which is very cool. 55 seconds and counting. 55 seconds, everybody! Armstrong just reported back, it's been a real smooth countdown. Alright, that's, yeah, he, he gave me the nod. He knows what it's about. Fist bump? No? Okay. Power with the launch vehicle at this time. No touching, not allowed to touch. From the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are. But I'm gonna shut up 35 seconds and counting everybody. And counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11. <laughs> Tower clear. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Plus 30 seconds. Roll complete and engine program. 
<laughs> oh, the sky is turning dark. Oh, there's the moon. Oh, wow. <laughs> Altitude's two miles. Oh, well, in Houston, you're good at one minute. Downrange, one mile, altitude, three, four miles now. Velocity, 2,195 feet per second. Eleven Houston, thrusters go, all engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger, you're loud and clear, Houston. It's looking pretty dark out the windows now, boys. Eleven Houston, uh, your guidance is converged. You're looking good. Set eight miles downrange, twelve miles high. Velocity four thousand feet per second. Wow. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark mode one, Charlie. One, Charlie. Cliff Charlesworth taking a staging status. This is Houston, you are go for staging. Tower, come on. Roger, tower. Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines out. I'm inboard cutoff. <laughs> the pen. Buddy? You lost your pen. I wish I could interact, knock it around a bit. Oh wow, everybody look out the window! I can even see like little like scuffs on the window. Yeah, they finally gave me a window to look out. How about that? You got a window, I got a window too. I mean we all got windows. But we got the best ones, am I right? Yeah, am I right? Oh. Earth orbit, mission time elapsed 2 hours and 45 minutes. Wow, that's beautiful! There we are down there, coming out of the darkness. This feels very much like, like, just an immersive movie. Like, you're in the movie. Like, normally I never shut up, and I know I'm, I'm not shutting up now, but, like, you can just sit back and just take in the ride. It's so well done. It is so well done. I love it. I love this developer. They, they can't do anything bad. <laughs> Everything they touch is just simply amazing. Oh, that is too cool. Oh, so cool. Get ready to take control. Oh! So we're doing the docking sequence right now. We're going to pop out the front, do a 180, and then slam back into it, and then pull out the lunar lander. Okay? Now, my controllers, they're getting old. I've, I've, they're breaking. Uh, that's what I was saying. So let's see how well this goes. Mission time elapsed. Three hours and 16 minutes. There we are. God, that's looking good. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, your go for separation. Uh, our system's recommendation is... Uh, Arm both pyro buses over. Okay, pyro B coming armed. Uh, my intent is to use uh, bottle primary one as per the checklist, therefore I just turned day on. Oh, Roger, we concur with the logic. I love hearing the actual voices, the real historical audio. What a clean separation that was. Well done, boys, right. Oh, got my little targeting thing, right. You trust me to do this? You're an idiot. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go for rotation, Houston. Right. We are spinning. I'm gonna slow down a bit, let that rotate all by its selfies. Yeah, selfies. That's all we do here in space. Putting visuals to historical audio. Like, it's such a cool thing. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, there we go. Right, retro burn. Right. We're more or less locked on, Houston. Let's do a side shuffle. Um, side shuffle isn't really working. Because my controller's been broken! Um... Oh, here we go, here we go. Little love puffs, little love puffs. Slow us down. We are more or less on target. Dropping us that little bit further down, getting the crosshair right over the moneymaker. Right, boom, 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 boom. Go to the side! I wish my controller wasn't broken. 
Slow down, slow down. Am I speeding up? Okay, we're good. Right, that's it. I got this. Oh, please, please. Yes, that's it. They're up. Right, in, 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 in. Just push it in. Oh, we've got this, everybody. We have got this. Your boy spammed. <laughs> Missed docking to. Oh, I was aiming for that stupid thing. God damn it. Yes, it's on spot. No, town. Yes, yes, yes. Unsafe spot. You know what? Screw it. I'm an idiot. Someone else can dock it. We're going to the cinematic. Boys, I think you've gone and done it, you know? He's already gone and bloody done it. And capture. Wait a Oh, that's cool. The locking sounds. Blah, 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 blah. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Radio check over. Roger, we've got the high gain uh, locked on now, I believe. Auto track and now. Okay, you're coming in uh, loud and clear, but uh, Mike is just barely readable. Yeah, that was Neil. How are you reading, Mike? Oh, loud and clear now, Mike, and we understand that you are, Doc. That's fine. Houston, we're ready for lamb ejection. Uh, Roger, you go for lamb ejection. Thank you. There it is, everybody. Oh, this is too cool. Oh, 11, this is Houston. Roger, Houston, Apollo 11, go ahead. Uh, Roger, could you give us uh, some comments on how the transposition and docking went over? Yeah, I, I thought it went pretty well, Houston, although I expect I used more gas than I've been using in the simulator. Uh, except for using a little more gas, and I'd be interested in your numbers on that. Everything went nominally. This is Houston. Uh, Roger, we copy.